Oxygen is go. Roger, zero G, and I feel fine. Capsule is turning around. Oh, that view is tremendous. Roger, turn around, started. Roger, capsule turning around, and I could see the booster during turnaround just a couple of hundred yards behind me. It was beautiful. Roger, seven, you have a go. At least seven orbits. Roger, understand go for at least seven orbits. But why some say the moon? Why choose this as our goal? And they may well ask, why climb the highest mountain? Why 35 years ago fly the Atlantic? Why does Rice play Texas? We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. Because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept, one we are unwilling to postpone, and one we intend to win, and the others too. Kevin at 4, how are you, Captain John? Okay, I'm separated from the space Okay, separated from the space Good time, how are you? Okay, my feet are up. I think I'm dragging a little bit, so I don't want to fire the gun yet. Okay, I'm out. Okay, now, close the ring. Ignition sequence starts. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Lift up on Apollo 11. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It looks good, Wally. Yeah, we got a roll must be leading the arm. Building shaking. Getting that buffeting we've become used to. What a moment. Man on the way to the moon. so far, doesn't it, Wally? Well, very good, very good. That's, that's Beautiful. Downrange, one mile, Elvin. Roger, Eagle's on dot. Roger, how does it look? Eagle has wings. Roger. Looking good. Roger, Neil, we got a, if you'll give us poo and data, we got the loads for you. 60 seconds. 60 seconds. Lights on. Six. Down two and a half. Forward. Forward. Good. 40 feet down two and a half. Picking up some dust. 30 feet two and a half down. Great shadow. And a half a 30. Four forward. Four forward. Drift into the right a little. 30. 30 seconds. Down a half. 30 seconds. Forward just. Okay. 
Contact light. Okay, engine stop. APA at a descent. Boat control, both auto, descent, engine command, override off. Engine arm off. 413 is in. We've had shut down. We copy you down, Eagle. Okay, everybody, T1, stand by for T1. Tranquility base here. The Eagle has landed. Roger, Twink. Tranquility, we copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot. Armstrong is on the moon. Yeah, Neil Armstrong, 38-year-old American, standing on the surface of the moon on this July 20th, 1969. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. There they are. There they are. They've made it. All three shoots out. Our Listen to the crowd on the boat. On the main, it really looks great. An extremely loud applause here in Mission Control. This is Gene, and I'm on the surface. And as I take Van Blair's step from the surface, back home, for some time to come, but we believe not too long into the future. I'd like to just let what I believe history will record that America's challenge of today has forged man's destiny of tomorrow. And as we leave the moon and Taurus Literal, we leave as we came and God willing, as we shall return, with peace and in hope for all mankind, Godspeed the crew of Apollo 17. Stage pushed. Engine arm is asking. Okay, I'm going to get the pro. 99, proceeded. 3, 2, 1, ignition. Right away, Houston. That's your good. Excellent. When we opened hatch in space, we were opening back on the Earth, a era in the history of man. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, or we've gone for main engine start. We have. We're go for main engine ignition. Seven, six, we have main engine ignition. Four, three, two, one, zero, and liftoff. Liftoff of the Orbiter Challenger and the sixth flight of the space shuttle. The shuttle has cleared the tower. Challenger is underway with our program. Houston copies, Challenger. Launch pad from acoustical energy. We're go for main engine start. We have main engine start. Four, three, two, one. Booster ignition and liftoff of Endeavor, completing Kibo and fulfilling Japan's hope for an out of this world space laboratory. Houston Endeavor, roll program. Roger, roll Endeavor. This is Mission Control Houston. Endeavour's roll maneuver is being completed. It's now going into a heads-down position on track for its flight to the International Space Station. 
flying at 400 miles per hour, one mile in altitude, and seven miles downrange already from the Kennedy Space Center. Endeavour's engines were throttle throttling down as the orbiter passes through the area of maximum pressure on the vehicle. Okay. CLS is go for main engine start. We have a go for main engine start. One, booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery, celebrating its 25th birthday by racking up science and supplies to the space station. Houston now controlling the midnight ride of Rick Sterko and his crew to the International Space Station. Discovery rolling onto the proper alignment for its eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the International Outpost. Thirty-two seconds into the flight, the three liquid fuel main engines soon will throttle back to 72% of rated performance down in the bucket, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it goes transonic. The pre-flare maneuver executed. Landing gear down and locked. Main gear touchdown. Hurley now deploying the drag chute. Ferguson rotating the nose gear down to the deck. Nose gear touchdown. Having fired the imagination of a generation, a ship like no other, its place in history secured, the space shuttle pulls into port for the last time. Its voyage at an end. You, Jeff, is good. Touchdown confirmed. We're safe on Mars. Thumbnails are complete. You got thumbnails. Poland is complete. Down on Mars. 